Hi guys, I've just been to Trinity Street in Barry to visit uh, Stacy's mum's house, which is owned by a lady called Glenda. And the reason I've done that really is just to show you how you can produce really good quality professional content at speed using your mobile. And so I asked her why her house was picked, the kind of questions she gets asked by fans because you can take a tour. Um, she's doing it for no money. What was really interesting is how she said her life was quite boring before this has happened. And for me personally, living in a house like that that's featured in such a huge programme and having fans walk past, look through the window all the time, I'd find that quite difficult. But she said life was quite boring. She's made lots of friends um, and she's she's loved seeing how it's um, brought Barry on the map um, and how excited she is with the Christmas special coming up. So I hope you enjoy it. But really the focus of this is how you can create professional content at speed using your mobile and get it out there to the masses. Hello everyone, I'm so excited. It's the 10th of October 2024 and I'm at 47 Trinity Street with Glenda who's 71 and lets people come in and have a look because this is the house, the kind of the main house isn't it for Gavin and Stacey which will be featured in the Christmas special and there's so much to talk to you about. Thank you so much for letting us come in. We're the first people to come in to interview really since yeah, the sure. end of Gavin and Stacey and Barry. They left on the 7th of October. I believe their last filming location was on the the Tadros Hotel, yep. which they called the Dolphin, but this is featured for many, many years. And I want to, lots of things I want to ask you, Glenda. Oh. <laughs> um, you know how how did your house get picked, for example? As I've been sitting here and I've only been here a few minutes, you've got um, fans coming and looking yeah. through the window. So you get all of obviously fans coming along all yeah, day long. All day long. You have tours so people can come and have a look around. You let them go upstairs and downstairs. Yeah. We looked at the kitchen and the omelette pan. Yeah. Um, I do like the this sofa. Garden. This sofa's going to be in yeah. the Christmas special. Um, the back garden as well. We're going to have a look. So first of all, really, um, what's it been like for you the last few weeks? Because there's been a lot of excitement and interest from all over the country. This big, I think it's going to be probably the biggest watch program for the whole of the year on Christmas Day. I think you? Christmas Day, yes, it's going to be, yeah. Uh, Look at the camera so everyone yeah. can see you. Um, you were the friendliest, sweetest lady. She has lots of people coming here with tours. Around 30 people come. So please don't knock on the door. Um, you can't let them in for insurance purposes and you're such a friendly lovely lady and I really appreciate you letting me come in and have a look around but really people need to book on a tour don't they? Yes um, because this year because the insurance they wanted another 2000 on top of what I was paying and I just couldn't afford it so now next year we're going to be very busy we're starting to get more dates you are not charging, though, are no. you? You're not making any money from this. No. Two thousand pounds is nothing. I think you could easily um, turn this into kind of a, yeah, a I don't business. know, an entertainment uh, museum or something. You could go and stay in a nice plush hotel every night. <laughs> are people to pay a thousand pounds a night to stay here? You put it on Airbnb. Yeah, my friends stay here now and again. You've been so generous. Well, uh, Lisa Lacking, I've got to thank her for letting me come along. She's a super fan, um, and I know you've been so warm and friendly to everyone. But I think, you know, you could give the money to charity, couldn't you? I mean, you're letting all these tours take place because they're making money. I can tell you that. Yeah, I know they're making money. Pick a charity. Come on. Um, the other thing was that you were a bit disappointed because you were hoping um, James Corden, uh, Smithy, in the yeah, show, I've, was going to come told, and see you. I've been told by Lisa that he was going to come and see me. And so far, so far, he hasn't. <laughs> and I am um, upset. Oh, no, I'm really sorry to hear yeah. that. Listen, if he's watching, I'll put this on Twitter. I'll try and get his attention. Come on, James Corden. Why haven't you been? This lovely lady. She's doing it all for charity as well. Uh, from the goodness of your heart, because you yeah. love the show. Yeah. And, you, and you've and you loved um, what this has done for the community here in Barry yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. We've put Barry on the map now. You certainly have. Yeah. Um, it was... We felt that there wasn't going to be... So, the very end of the last Gavin and Stacey, where um, Nessa went down on one knee... Yes. ...and asked... Smithy to marry her yeah, that we, was filmed outside of yeah. this house wasn't it and we are hoping that it's gonna be a yes I am hoping I think they're tricking us they I think might, they both they, got married they might but not to be other people. suited but I think he's gonna say yes They've probably given you some special treatment, haven't they, the crew and the, the cast what um, gifts have you had or what insider information have oh, you got? No. Whatever they tell me, I don't tell anybody because you can't do that. So you do know stuff then? I can't say. I tell them. I can't say. Well, maybe we'll come back after it's it's been aired. Um, why do you think Gavin and Stacey are so popular? Why? Because 
of the car, I, I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I think it's because it feels like you're there with them in the room, like your friends and your family. I don't know, it's got a nice family feel, warm, fun. And the characters, you care about them, I think. You oh, feel yeah. yeah, very good actors. Um, just quickly going back to how your your house got picked. This is the couple, this is what I wanted to ask. How did you how did how did they end up using your house? Everybody in the street received a letter, and then you reply to the show. I took the letter two doors down, Marion, because I'm dyslexic, and she said ring or or write a letter. So I rang. I didn't get in straight away, and they came down about four or five times. You got to disappear for twenty minutes. And then after that, you get the okay. Then you, then they tell you you get paid. And where did you go while the filming was taking place? Sometimes um, um, out in the country, down by Cardiff Airport, or or different places. So they put you up somewhere, did they? They get you another house where you can live. Yeah. And I the hope- Christmas special that was the shortest one I've ever been is because I was I was upstairs two days in the hotel for one and a half days. That was the last year. And this time, boy, didn't I sleep. I don't know what, what what happened, but I slept. Does it? Do you mind being here with like fans staring and being knocking? Does it bother you? No, they don't. They, because I, because I got the clothes sign on the door, I don't get a lot of people knocking. And the notice in the window as well that's been done for me. It's very important people don't come and knock on the door. They need to book yeah. on a tour. Yeah. Um, what are the kind of questions that you get asked? I think people want to have a really good look around, see the furniture. Um, f- what, what kind of questions can you remember you, you were asked? Well, it's, it's, it's loads of different ones. You know, they want to know about the fishing trip. I don't know. <laughs> they keep on asking me. Um, is Smithy going to say yes or no? It's, you know, it's all different things over the years. Oh, and that makes sense. Yeah. I, I kind of would like to know, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. So we're going to have a look around the house now, do a little bit of a tour, and you're going to show me some of the things that uh, they've they've left behind yeah. and some of the memories and some of yeah. the things. And luckily, since we've been talking, we haven't been bothered by any fans because I know that happens a lot. Anyway, listen, lovely to talk to we've you. We've had a few out there. No one's not. We'll go, we're going to have a look at a little tour around the house as yeah. if we were doing a tour, as if yeah. you were coming on a tour. Okay, let's do it. So this is the famous kitchen where the omelettes are made, is that right? Yes. This is Stacey's mum, Gwen. I get confused because you're Glenda and she's Gwen. They sound yeah. a bit similar, don't they? So um, on the tours, people come down and see this. <laughs> yeah, they go like this and like that and you've got, they got their photo. A little activity, there we go, I love it. And is this the same cooker? Yep, same cooker. So this is exactly the same cooker? Yep. Um, and the microwave, do they take everything out? The or? microwave taken out. Uh, this is taken out, that's taken out, that's left here. Uh, this is what belongs to the show. And so you basically, they came in and said anything, anything you wanted want. to keep. Yeah. So you went all, around all and said... All the stuff up there are from the show. Even this little photo. I don't know if it was the little girl of Stacey's. So that's from the show. They'll see that when yeah. they watch the Christmas special, if it's in the kitchen. Well, it will be in yeah. the kitchen. And just if we come up here... What else is left? So we'll be is is in the show. Is this your own table and chairs, or is yeah, did they, they leave bought, that? They, they bought um, a round one in. This is interesting because they redecorated this lounge, yes. and this here, they they've just added this. Is that right? Yeah, it was um, a lot smaller, but uh, they couldn't find one a smaller one. But it's almost almost the same. Up here, it was magnolia, magnolia but they put a light grey, and down here, I got a darker grey. Do you want to get that? I think you've got a phone. You go and get the phone. And she said she was going to give it back. So this year I asked the location manager if he can get my book. And this is what Smithy put in there. Oh, Glenda, there is no Gavin and Stacey without you. Thank you for always being so amazing and generous. I miss you and can't wait to see you again. Big love. James Corden. Yeah. Isn't that nice of him? But the bugger I haven't seen. You want to see the bugger, don't you? Yes. Where is he? I, I don't want to know how much you got paid, but you said you turned down something. What, were they going to pay you some money, were they? Yeah, but I didn't want all of it, so I turned it down. <laughs> Why did you do that? So I had some of it. Just listen, give it to charity or go on holiday. <laughs> I tell you what, do you know how much money they're going to make from that? They're going to sell that programme. 
You Gold's could... going to probably sell it. I will say she had a couple of millions selling the first two. You're going to make a fortune from that programme, yeah, especially because it's the last one. Um, but you have been handsomely rewarded, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> no, you, you, you don't look at the money. You were saying the biggest thing for you is that you've made friends. Yeah. Because you felt very lonely and that's been, um, so that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. That's, do you know what? What's money at the end of the day? It's not. Money's not everything. I've always said that in life. No, it's not. I tell you what. It's a very good lesson for us all to learn from that one. Yeah. It's community. Because money, money it? does harm people. Yeah. No, I can understand what you're saying. It's very inspiring, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Very beautiful. Well, it's been an absolute delight to meet you. And you've got a friend here. I don't live too far away. Oh. Um, and thank you for all... I just... Don't you think this lady deserves a little bit of a treat um, and to raise some money for a lovely holiday? Because I think you'd be very, very generous. <laughs> and we've got some fans here. Wait there. Let's turn around. Can you see there's yeah. fans at the window? Yeah. Don't you find that weird? People staring in no. through the window. They're, they're reading the signs, aren't My they? Birthday, Shall I, I film I, them I, looking in? For my birthday, I had that box put in and Lisa downloaded some some um, pictures and it got and it um, get different pictures on there from the show. Oh, so they come up in the window. Yeah. So when at night time people yeah. can see but pictures from the show. She made so many, it's gotta be down downloaded again because at the moment there's about five or six on there and there's gonna be a lot more when she's downloaded. I've got you, I've got you. So yeah. they get a bit of entertainment walking past. Are you in here then, Glenda? Huh? I'm very excited about this tour. Where are you? I'm here. Very friendly lady. Hello, Hello. wave. 